Hello guys, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Wing Sung 765 fountain pen. I received this pen about, should I say, two to three months ago actually. It's a pretty good pen, I like it a lot, and it's time for a review. The Wing Sung 765 is a vintage 1990s fountain pen from China. It was made by the Wing Sung Company, and it, it seems pretty durable. As you can see, it has this gold-plated clip, top and bottom. Let me show you a video of that real quick. As you can see here, look at this nice polished gold-plated bottom of the pin. The, bo the barrel of the pin is stainless steel, for the most part, and it's relatively heavy in the hand. I usually deal with quite light fountain pins, and this one is nice since it has that heavy weight behind it. You can see that it says Wing Sung right here, and you can see 765 as well. Wing Sung 765. Let me take the top of the cap off and show you the nib. This pin has a very odd type of nib. It is an arrowhead shaped nib, which is very different for fountain pins. I usually haven't ever really seen this type of nib before. Let me focus for you as you can see here. It's an arrowhead type nib. It's very interesting. It doesn't post very well, so I'm not going to show you that, but I'm going to take apart the barrel of the pen and show you guys the ink converter. What's nice about this pen, it is a sack filling ink converter and it isn't permanently attached. I can actually pull this sack portion out and stick a different type of cartridge in, which is very nice for traveling. The pen holds a lot of ink, which is very nice. I don't really have much of a problem filling the pen either. Let me put the pen back together and I'll show you guys a writing sample and an overall review. The pen writes relatively smooth, so I'll grade the smoothness first, of course. Smoothness. I'd rate the smoothness at about a, gosh, a 9 out of 10, since it is so smooth, I like it a lot. I'll rate the durability. I've had this pen for a while, a decent amount of time, should I say, and I've used it quite a lot. The finish of the pen comes off relatively easy, but as long as you take care of it, it should last you quite a lot, a long time, should I say. And so I'll rate the durability at about an 8 out of 10. The stainless steel barrel makes this pin able to take a lot of beating. I've put it in my backpack, etc., with relatively no problems. Let's talk about the cost of the pin. The cost was about, gosh, it wasn't really expensive and it wasn't really that cheap either. I think it was, what, 6 to 7 bucks a pin? cost six bucks I got it on eBay from a seller that I uh, usually get pens from I can probably leave a link in the description if you guys would like uh, so this is a pretty pretty good pen for the cost the scratchiness is is none just about none since I've talked about the smoothness the ink flow the ink flow of the pen it has a nice ink flow a very nice ink flow I'll have to rate that at about a 9 out of 10. The appealing characteristics of the pen make it a very nice writer. It looks very classy, but it's not very showy, should I say. So, appealing characteristics. I'd have to rate that at about a, gosh, a 9 out of 10. It looks like a really nice pen. It is a nice pen, in fact. I'm very impressed with it, should I say. Now, this pen is a different type of pen, since it's a vintage pen. Most vintage pens are a little heavier than this, actually, from the ones that I've dealt with. This pen makes a good starting vintage pen, because it's relatively cheap, and it has a lot of character to it. This arrowhead nib writes with, should I say, a medium fine. 
medium fine nib. I like that a lot. I usually go more towards the hooded nib side of things because I like that extra fine line. But this is a decent rider. I use it for school all the time. And I, I enjoy it quite a lot. Now I'm going to switch over to a writing sample and I'll give you guys my overall review of the pen. Alright, here's a writing sample. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. That is just the saying of this pen. Well, really, one of the fountain pen sayings, should I say, that people used to write with. But uh, it writes quite smooth. I like it a lot. This is the Wingsung 765 fountain pen. I don't use it very often, but when I do use it, I am quite impressed. This would make a good starter for a collector. If you're just trying to get to start collecting fountain pens, I would definitely recommend it for you. This pen is quite durable. It writes with a smooth line, and I definitely would recommend it for someone. This is the Wingsung 75 Vintage 1990s Fountain Pen. Thank you, guys.